Aspen with here, and yes, today I'm wearing my polo suit. Uh, that, that's a hanger. <laughs> okay. So yes, I'm wearing my polo suit right now because if you watched my last video, then you you should know why, because it hasn't even been five minutes since I recorded it. Yay. Okay. Uh, so... Again, going to state, I have a Patreon now, so if you want to go and support me, you can go and join it. You don't have to. I have nothing against you if you don't want to. It's fine. Just kind of telling you so you know. And there is a link in the description. Okay. Now then, uh, I'm gonna tell you all my characters' backstories. It's going to be a four-part series- Four part series. <laughs> I'm not used to the two fingers yet. Uh, a four part series. Uh, because each backstory is kind of lengthy, and if I put them all in one video, it would be like a two to two and a half hour long video. <laughs> Maybe. I have no clue. So, yes, I'm going to be splitting them all up. So, of course, the first backstory I'm going to tell you is Aspen. So, of course, um, let's get started. So, Aspen, of course, being a colored shadow wolf, if you're part of my Discord, you should know that, or you're just now learning about it, if I haven't stated it before. So, he's a colored shadow wolf, and he is actually a blue shadow wolf, but there are many different colors of them. And the blue shadow wolves, so... I'm gonna put a really crappy, like, paint 3D version of, like, how the map is set up, like, right here for you. So, yay. Um, <clears throat> so... Of course, you know, the blue shadow wolves are like the biggest. They're like the monarchy of all the shadow wolves. And of course, uh, going away from the name of like shadow wolf, the shadow wolves actually aren't that evil. They're actually really nice and really caring and stuff. Yay. Uh, so, but of course, battles do break out. And also, you know, they're kind of like missionaries. I guess you could say, you know, they'll go and fight for other people and stuff. And so, of course, all of them are trained in some sort of specialty. And Aspen, like I have right here, is trained as a sniper. So, yeah. Don't worry. It's a Nerf gun. I painted it. Yay. Uh, so, of course, Aspen is a sniper. And, uh, so, god, I forgot my own character's backstory. Okay, no I didn't, uh, I'm remembering now. And so, of course, and he set out to be the best sniper, you know, he was like, if I'm gonna be a good, a good at one thing, I'm gonna be the best at it, you know? Yes, I'm gonna beat all these other snipers. So, of course, that's what he set out to do, and he did do it, you know, he was the best one there is. And, of course, like, he's very friendly, like, Aspen is my friendly character. His name, I think, literally means, like, friendly and stuff. If you want to go look it up, I think that's what it means, or if I remember to put a snip of it right here, I'll put the meaning of it. Um, so... Of course, he was very friendly, you know, it's not like he he was a show-off or anything, he was very friendly, you know, he kept, you know, his specialty in snipering to himself, you know, he didn't gloat about it, like, oh, I'm the best sniper in the world, ha ha ha. No, he just kind of kept it to himself, and, uh, had many friends, was friends with many different people, uh, he did know how to fight, yes, that, like, all of the Shadow Wolves, are taught in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they're all taught to use like different weapons, like some will use swords, some will use guns, like different types of guns, different types of swords, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, one day, 
Uh, so the, I think it's yellow and orange, if I can remember correctly. Uh, if it's not, I'll tell you who it is. Um, the yellow and orange shadow wolves, or shadow packs, really, uh, did not like that the blues were, like, the biggest and the monarchy and stuff, you know, they didn't like it. They were like, we should all be equal, we should be better, you know, we should be stronger than you, why do you guys get to be the best? Uh, and so, of course, <laughs> that are trained mostly in hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, that's like their specialty, of course, immediately start going and fighting and stuff. And the ones who are trained with weapons, of course, like, are told, run and get your weapons, go and get them, go, go, go. So, of course, Aspen runs and <clears throat> gets his sniper. And, uh, I was actually thinking of commissioning art for this, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But goes up onto, like, this giant, uh, like, rock type thing. Kind of like Pride Rock. Yay. <laughs> and, of course, is, like, up there with a whole bunch of other snipers. And is, like, shooting and stuff. You know, shooting at them, and, of course, they're being shot at. Yay. Uh, not yay, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um... So, of course, just imagine, like, a whole bunch of, like, black and yellow, black and orange, and black and blue, uh, anthropomorphic wolves fighting each other to the soundtrack of the Avatar, you know, the blue people, uh, when, when they're in the final fight. Yay. Great, right? <laughs> So, of course, Aspen is, is like, 
his is running out of bullets. You know, they have a limited supply of bullets. And is running out of bullets. <coughs> and of course, just takes a moment to like look around and looks at all the turmoil. And it, it's just horrible, you know, it's like it goes in slow motion and he just sees people like his friends falling like left and right and his family and others family, you know, it's just horrible. And of course, just sees them dying everywhere and of course looks at the other snipers he's with and sees them getting shot, you know, some of them dying. And just some, you know, getting shot, but keep, like, going, right? And he he just, like, wants to curl up in a ball and just, like, stop. He, he just doesn't want to, like, be moving anymore. And, uh, he then looks down and see his, sees his best friend, you know, the person he is closest to in this pack, um... Like, and he's trained in, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? And so, of course, sees him. I didn't really give him a name. Sorry. But, you know, sees his best friend down there, like, fighting with people. And then sees, like, one, like, one of the, like, orange shadow wolves, uh, jump up, you know, with, like, their claws out, you know, going to kill him, right? And, of course, puts up his sniper and goes to shoot when, of course, like I said before, he was running out of bullets. Oh, excuse me. And that's when he ran out of bullets. So, you know, that just little or whatever you want to describe it as noise that, you know, guns make when they're out of bullets just kind of happens. And then he sees his friend get killed. Uh, like sad, sad backstory, man. <laughs> And, of course, it just, like, gets so enraged. And, of course, jumps down, like, off this freaking rock. And, of course, just starts going ballistic. Like, killing everyone, you know? And, of course, he gets in a fight with someone. And that's actually where he got his scratches, if I can remember. Yeah, these scratches right here, actually need to be smoothed down that way but like those scratches that's where he got those scratches was in this giant fight he was fighting with someone else and he actually knocked them down and as they were going down you know they went like Shh. and of course finally everybody like ha has to retreat because like the, the orange and yellow shadow packs are just dwindled down to, to like less than a hundred combined and the blue shadow pack is only Aspen left. That's why it says in my discord server Aspen is the only blue shadow wolf because everybody else died. This is great isn't it? Like 10 out of 10 backstory. And um... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird in this because my voice has been out of commission for a few days and this is actually the first day it's actually sounded decent enough to video so yay uh so of course he then starts just like walking around he actually like throws down his sniper well he threw it down when he was on the tower so you know he doesn't have it anymore like in present day I, I just got this for, for the heck of it so I was like yay um so of course doesn't have the sniper in present day of course just walks around seeing all the turmoil all the chaos and just seeing all the dead like bodies I guess you could say like everywhere and just kind of he breaks down you know he breaks down and it just feels like horrible and he wants to curl into a little ball and just sit there and not move and just you know die as well you know he's like this is like the worst day of my life you know 
So, of course, and then uh, Azrael comes along and finds him and, of course, kind of talks to him about how he's somewhat in the same situation, not exactly, but, you know, partially the same situation and how he just wanted to give up too, but he's decided not to and, of course, invites Aspen to come with him to, like, I call it the peaceful land and it's where, like, Anybody can go and like be in peace, you know, like there's no fighting, there's no like chaos and stuff. And invites Aspen to go with him, and of course Aspen's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. And of course, eventually they they like get together and that is uh you actually see them in the land of peace or the peaceful place. In the artwork that is at the end of my videos. So, yay! Well, there's Aspen's 10 out of 10 backstory. It's great, isn't it? Like, right? Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, bye!